So hello everyone, it's JLB87 here and today we're going to try out the new Atomar Cosmetics, what is this, um, Brighton and Bronze Complexion Trio and I'm going to use their Blush Trio as well. I have both of these in Dark Rich. So we're going to start off with the bronzer of course because it's the star of the show. This is what it looks like. I saw Andrea Renee with this and when I first saw it coming out I was like yes, I need it. And then I ended up finding somebody selling it on, um, what is it? Macari for a reasonable price so um I forgot to bring the I just realized I forgot to bring the brush that they made for brightening in here to use with this palette so I'm just gonna go ahead and use this highlighter brush underneath the eye for when I do because it's similar to the um packaging that when we get to that portion this is a Sephora Pro highlight brush number 98 I actually don't like that one for highlighter but believe it or not but anyway Let's get started with this bronzing situation, girl. Um, so I bought a couple of brushes in here to bronze. Sorry, let me move y'all close up. Yeah. So I bought a couple of blushes, brushes in here to bronze with. I bought the Jaclyn Hill um, JH02 brush. I actually really like this brush for bronzing. And I bought the new Juno & Co. brush in here. Uh, remember, these don't have numbers, so I can't tell you what number this is. I don't know. It's not on here. And then for hot... Um, we're going to try out the, I forgot to mention, we're going to try out some of the Nabla highlighters today. So I'm going to mix Truth and Privilege together because these are two colors I like and I feel like they match my eye look pretty well right now. So we'll try these two and then I'll try the other two in another video because I want to compare um, the adults only to um, Fenty's Truth. But let's get started with our bronzer and then we're going with blush. So the bronzer color in here is brown sugar. This is will be one to deepen it up. And then this is the one I'm supposed to put underneath my eyes. So I figure we'll start with the darkest one and then I'll put the bronze on top so we can use this as a contour situation. Then put the bronzer on top and then we'll do the, what is this, the um, under eye brightener after we do the blushes. So I want to do that part last so we'll have to come back to this palette. Then we'll go on with the, uh, no, we'll go on with the highlighters and then we'll come back to this palette for that. So let me see. Um, I guess I'll start off with this one for the darker shade. And then maybe I'll use the big one for the lighter shade. I don't know. We'll see. Um, let me swatch them so we can get an idea of how they look on my arm. And then maybe that'll help me determine how I want to do this. So. Oh, it's not as dark as I thought it was going to be. So these are the shades. This is the brightener. Obviously, this is brown sugar. No, sorry, cinnamon sugar. And then this is the d deepening one. So, yeah, I'm going to start off with the deepening one. I'm going to just take this brush right here real quick. And I dipped into it and gives you decent pigmentation. So, let's start off with that shade. Okay, yeah, I'm definitely liking that shade a lot. I feel like I, it'll look definitely really great in the summertime. After I put it on top of my... um. What do you call it? My um, contour. And these have hyaluronic acid in them. And believe it or not, I, if I remember correctly, this palette's only $25, which is, like, amazing. I don't know if they have, like, a special on their website where you can go ahead and buy both of these for, you know, a discounted deal. I tried to buy something off their website because I was going to buy this off their website. But then I um, I think they ended up being out of some lip glosses I wanted to get, so I didn't get it. Now we're going to take the color brown sugar. I mean, I don't know why I keep trying to make this brown sugar. It's cinnamon sugar, this one. And I'm going to put it on top of the one we just did. So, this is what it looks like. And Yeah, okay. So, so far, I'm liking it. These are actually supposed to have hyaluronic acid in them, which I thought was kind of cool. If I remember correctly, I swore I read that. And that was another thing intriguing that. I'm like, ooh, hyaluronic acid, okay. You know, I thought that was cool. So, and anyway, um... I'm, I'm really, really liking the way this is looking up, y'all. Like, if only 25 bucks, and then they give you a bright and funny thighs, too. Yes. Girl, look at that. It's de it's definitely a vibe. Yeah, that that's definitely a vibe. I'm going to have a headband on, so I'm not going to, you know, worry about um, bronzing up here like I normally would. I normally have a headband on, but it was in dirty clothes. I mean, it wasn't in dirty clothes. It was in the laundry room, and I was trying to get all these done because I'm super hungry because I didn't i'm not a person who eats a lot when they're stressed or bored i just eat when i'm hungry so i wasn't hungry last night and i ate like a little bit but i was, i'm still hungry i'm sorry i'm hungry when i woke up now so i'm like i'm trying to get these videos done so i can go eat as fat as that sounds um i'm gonna take the color deserted 
I think and just start off with that one because it's nice and simple. Even though I really want to take Oasis, but I feel like, you know, y'all expect me to take that one. And I always take that one. Plus, the bronzer is kind of dark, so I figure we'll just go in with this one. So, I'm taking my um, Nobella um, brush. This is only my second time using it. I um, bought these during the sale. I think I'm going to mix some of that darker orange shade on the end with this. Because I don't know if it's this blush, brush, but I'm feeling like I'm not getting that much pigmentation off these. Okay, there it is. I personally like to put on a lot of blush, so I'm going to put on some more. I'm taking this color right here now. Sorry, this color right here now. And I'm going to mix a little that in. So I remember correctly, I liked the blush palette as well. It's just, I'm more of a primer infused blush girl. So that way I don't have to put on a whole bunch of blush. And then I know it'll still be there at the end of the day. And I didn't have to load a brush. Like with this one, I feel like I just loaded up a whole bunch of blush. But I know it's going to fade throughout the day. So that's why I start off with a lot. And then when it fades, you know, I don't have to worry about that. So this is what the blush looks like. The two I combined together. I know it looks like a lot. Um, I'll probably take my powder brush when we're done and like handle all that. But that's what we are right now. Matter of fact, we could just do that now. I used a new Bella powder brush today as well. So let's calm this down just a little bit. Not a whole lot, just a little bit. Yeah, that works. Okay, so now we're going to go in with the two highlighters. I am super excited about these because I swatched them and the formula on them feels really, really nice. This is Privilege and this is Truth. Truth was one of the ones I was more excited to get. I will swatch them on camera, even though I have swatches of them on my um, IG. So, let me see. I'm going to swatch them on my arm part. So, that's privilege. And let's get a good little swatch of truth. So, as you can see, this is privilege and this is truth. Privilege, obviously, is way too light on its own for me to wear. So, I'm just going to combine privilege and truth. Let's see. Uh -uh. I'm trying to decide if I want to use... My Scott Barnes brush, because I bought some of his brushes during the sale. I keep meaning to use his eye brush, and then I always forget. But I have another eye look to do today, so I'll probably use it today. But um, I'm going to take this brush just to start off with. So I'm going to take a little bit of privilege, and then I'm going to take a little bit of truth and just combine those, and we're going to start highlighting. So grab this palette real quick. And... Oh, yes. Look at that beautiful girl. Time. She ain't gonna shine into the gods just to go to jewels. But I mean, this is how y'all getting wear tests on this stuff, and I feel like wear tests are important. So since I have to do grocery shopping anyway, I was just like, I'll make sure I do that first. So more privilege, and I put truth on top since truth is the one that's closer to my skin tone. I figured it works best to do it that way. And then we're gonna go down the middle of the nose. A little bit of cupid's bow, not a whole lot, but. I ain't down the middle of my face, especially since I didn't get to um, highlight it with um, actual concealer because of the video I did before this. Yeah, that looks really nice. So let's see how it feels on the side of my face, which is what I'm most concerned with. I don't know. I feel like I have to rub in a lot with this brush. So I don't know how I feel about that. But, you know, whatever. Um, we're going to go ahead and... Yes, honey, side of the face, side profile. Yes, please. Yes, please. Do y'all see the side profile? Do you do you see? I don't do you see, girl? So yeah, I'm definitely here for these Nabla highlighters. I am so glad I got them. I was gonna get them originally, but at when they came to Ulta, but they had sold out, and then I was so excited when I found out they were on Twenty One Days of Beauty, girl. I was like, I need just about every color there is. Because two of them I couldn't wear, obviously, they would be for fairer skin tones. But I think they did a pretty good job of making colors for everybody's skin tone. Because I actually feel like there are like three or four I could wear out of the six that they make. Which I was super excited about. Because I'm like, normally, they usually have like one or two. And it's like, of course, they made one gold one. Because gold just looks good on my skin tone. But I'm not a person who's really big on gold highlighters. So I was kind of just like, look at that, y'all. Like, it just looks like a natural glow from within peachy toned vibe. Yes, Nabla, you did that. Okay. Okay, and yes, Alamar, y'all did that with this um, bronzer palette. I'm definitely here for it. It's definitely a vibe, but let's go ahead and finish with the bronzer palette. So we need to brighten underneath the eye with this lovely golden hour power. So we're going to do that now, and then we will be done. So I'm going to just lightly tap it underneath here. 
and I'm looking up, so that's why I'm not looking into the camera. So this is what it looks like brightened under the eye versus not. I don't see a whole lot of difference, but you know. We'll see. But I only used one concealer and it was like, I think one shade lighter than my foundation shade. So that's probably why it doesn't look as bright as I would like it to. I feel like if I had did the method that Jackie does where you like use two and three concealers like I normally do, it would look way brighter and way nicer underneath the eye because I did that yesterday and I could definitely tell the difference. With the brightening powder, it wasn't this brightening powder, obviously, because this is the first impression, but you know. Um, but yes, I'm definitely feeling this face. It's a vibe. Let's go ahead and set it so we can set all these products into the face. And I will try to come back and give a weird test and let you all know how it wore throughout the day so you can decide if it was worth it. Now, I don't feel any necessary hydration properties in this powder so far. I figured I should mention it since it talks about having hyaluronic acid in it. It says it on the front right here. It says infused with hyaluronic acid. I know you can't see it, but it gives you the little raindrop so you'll know that that's what it means. Um, I need to finish my face. This is just the... Um, color pop i always forget the name of this spray it's the one that's part of the um vitamin what is it the um vitamin c collection so i usually spray this one first just to put all the powders in and then i'm gonna go in with the morphe mattifying continuous setting spray i have a review on this if you're interested i have a review on this too i just don't remember which video it is so but if you search gel beauty 87 in like um Morphe, I feel like that should pop up because I got a battle of that comparing that one to the old one in addition to having, um, you know. Ooh, God, excuse me. I don't even know where that came from because I have not even eaten today. And it's like, I think 9.30, almost 10 o'clock. So, yeah, let me spray the face real quick. Now, this one doesn't have a cucumber smell in it. Um, if anyone was curious, just in case you don't feel like going to look at the other video, it has a cucumber um, scent to it. So. But anyway, so far, I'm liking everything I use on my face so far. I like the way the highlighter looks. I'm loving the way the bronzer looks. I feel like it looks amazing. I already know that I liked the blush palette because I tried that um, last summer. But anyway, I hope you all enjoyed this video. I'll leave it in the description box below how they wore if I don't remember to add the clip in. Remember, y'all are dimes. I'll see you guys in the next one. Okay, everyone, so Joe Beat 87 here, and we're doing an update on um, the, f the concealer and the lip product and the blush and the bronzer. So you, see the, you can still see the blush. You can still see the lip product. Um, you can see a distinct difference between the colors. Like, I feel like this side is lighter than this side. I did film this eye look for um, IGTV. If anybody's interested, I use the new Avita palette and one of those new... Lime Crime Lid Light um, Shades, the color Majestic. And then I use a couple of the shimmers from the Norvina um, 2 palette. So that's what's going on with the eyes right now. They're different from what I did this morning when I did the Instagram review for um, the Lunar Beauty Strawberry Dreams palette. So, But the bronze is holding up nicely. The blush is holding up nicely. I feel like the highlighter doesn't look as nice as when it first started. But I don't know. My nose is always oily, but we've already talked about this foundation i think we might have i don't remember if i did a review on the um peach perfect foundation i don't think i was making youtube videos then so i don't think i did i don't remember though so don't quote me um i know i remember doing one on the um the do foundation i think it's called do you or something like that anyway i had to come out to my car to do this review because everybody um and my house is all around just everywhere but um i'm thinking the concealers look about even like as you can see it's crease on these here i have shimmer underneath there from when i did the video this is the Too faced side if you all didn't remember and then this is the nar side i feel like the nar side looks a little bit better than the Too faced side in my personal opinion i feel like this one is creasing a little bit more than this side is and i feel like this side has a little more coverage than this side does but I don't know. It might be because the brush that I used on the NARS side was bigger than this brush. I don't know. Anyway, um, I'm really feeling this eye look. That's why I keep staring into the camera. But um, uh, I think that's pretty much all I have for y'all. The um lip product, I haven't drank anything or eaten anything. So I'm assuming that's why they still look the same. I feel like the um Essence one didn't really plump the lips though. Like, you know, like the um Buxom plumping lip gloss does. I will say that. But otherwise, um, this is pretty much the face. Um... And I'll see you guys.